Hello everybody, my name is Connor, and today I react to Promise Never Neverland, episode 3, it's just called 181045. Do y'all want me to read those numbers? I don't know if they're significant, maybe they're dates? They're something. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so... Last episode, let me go to my notes for last episode, because... It has been, like, a week since I have watched this show. Yes, I know. Um, okay. So, last episode's note said, I literally wrote down, Size of Brains, Wall, Tracking Tobias, Reynos, and Demon Society. Those are my notes from last week. <laughs> but basically, last week, we figured out that they have tracking chips in them, and we got to this wall, like, on the outside, and there's, like, a wall, basically, that they're gonna have to get over to get out, and Ray suggested maybe outside this could be a demon society, because there's demons there, so who's to say the demons don't run the world? Because if they're a farm, who's to say demons don't, like, run the world? You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, Ray now knows about the demons and they also have also put size of brain so the smarter ones are more valuable because they have a bigger size brain um so that's interesting and yeah that's basically it for last episode if you enjoyed my reaction make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment down below what you think about this episode so far i'm really enjoying this series and i hope you're enjoying the reactions to the series uh check out my patreon for full uncut reactions check out my social medias down below including my instagram and twitter go check those out go follow I might be going live one day, and I might be posting channel updates on those two platforms, so make sure to go check those out. Um, and yeah, that's about it, so thank y'all for watching, and let's get right into the reaction. Ooh! Yeah. 1845. Is there like a look for like a scar on you, like a chip, like he said? Maybe on your head? Under your hair? I don't know. No, I don't think so, but she's y'all better be careful. She have it too? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's watching them? Okay. Okay, so teach them to be stronger. Mm-hmm. Is she like super fast or something? <laughs> Oh, she's fast. Mm hmm So she's fast. Is she human? Oof, everyone's getting caught. Mm. Am I faster? Am I keep running? You have children. Save them. She knows where they are. Is she gonna leave the kids to run away or is she gonna get caught herself? That's the real question. Okay, this kind of makes me want to play tag, not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, this show's getting good. I kind of want to watch it. Ooh. 
So does she know too, or does she does she think she knows? That girl looks like she is watching everything, and she's suspecting something. She's almost just as old as them. She should start catching on. Is it that girl? No, it's not the girl with the glasses, is it? I want her to be on our side. I want her to be on our side. She seems cool. She don't seem like she'd be the traitor. Is she the traitor? Are they just leading us to believe she's the traitor? Catch up. Catch. Calm down. Okay, guys. That is episode three of The Promised Neverland. This, these episodes just keep getting better and better as time goes on. And I cannot wait to see what happens like later in the future. Like in the future of this show. Because this is already going crazy. I'm already stressed. And what? We're only three episodes in. Going on four. I gotta watch the next episode after this. Because I'm honestly stressed. And y'all kept telling me in the comments it's gonna get worse from here. I was like. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. How's it gonna get worse than Connie being found dead in the back of a car? <laughs> okay, so basically, we got introduced to Sister Cr um, Crone, I believe her name was. Um, we got introduced to her last episode, but it was only for a brief split second. So now we got way more to her character. And so we basically learned that she is kind of, she's quick. And she's easy to find kids during playing tag. She got all the kids besides Emma, Norman, and Ray. But then she eventually got Emma by um, saying, like, where you at the harvest and then sneaking up but the only reason she really found emma was because emma went and grabbed two kids that she was about to lure in and take so emma went and grabbed them and picked them up trying to bring them to safety so that's the reason why she really got emma and norman and ray actually um made it for where she didn't get them they made it out in time they ran fast enough they were smart enough strategically made it so we know them three can probably make it without getting caught by that sister, we call her, or Sister Crone. They can make it without getting caught by Sister Crone. Don't know about the others, don't know about mom, don't know about any of that, but we know they, them three can probably make it, but Emma doesn't want to leave the kids. I don't think Norman does either, and Ray kind of would, but he's for saving them too. And we learned that uh, Emma is naive, that is her weakness. We, gave, we, we went over this kind of stuff. Um, Norman doesn't have the strength, the physical strength. He's super smart, but he doesn't have physical strength and kind of brittle. And um, Ray is very quick to decide something, make quick decisions, but also quick to give up his decisions. So he kind of, in a way, self-doubts. But yeah, so basically learned their tracking chips from the kids, and she looked at the littlest kid to see before the scar went away, and there's actually a bump behind their ear. Um, so the tracking chips are actually in their ear, and they were told that that was where they get blood drawn, but actually it's tracking chips, we found out this episode. And also, I thought the date was like in the 1800s, maybe 1900s, early 1900s, but no, it looked like, it said 45 in the date, and 2045 on the calendar, so I'm assuming it's 2045, so futuristic show actually, I thought it was the past, actually it's in the future, <laughs> but... Um, so yeah, they started playing tag with the kids, and they're teaching the kids escape tactics now, which is very smart because the kids really need to learn how to be able to, like, defend for themselves. So they're teaching them how to hide footprints, how to be quiet, how to do all kinds of stuff, how to jump higher, how to run faster, all that stuff that is very necessary. And yes, the, um, the lady, uh, Sister Crone probably did play tag with them to one get to know them more to know them more and to see what they're really up to but at the same time i feel like she kind of helped them out because she they now know how fast she is what her tactics are she lures kids that's her what her thing she made little like designs in the leaves to lure the kids in the one spot before she got them so we know that now so she, we know some of her tactics so that's them playing tag and all that but that girl with glasses, I don't know her name, she's 10. She, I thought she was like catching on to like, yeah, there's something up. We need to stop these parents too. I thought she was figuring out. But now they're suggesting a traitor and I think she's 
and they think and I think she is the most logically the traitor. But I really hope they could talk some sense into her and actually convince her that there's something going on and to stop being a traitor if she is a traitor. So I really hope that. But yeah, besides that, that is in the about the end of the episode. So yeah, thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this reaction, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you thought about this episode, and leave a spoiler-free comment, please. <laughs> and yeah, so check out the link down below also for my Patreon, full on cut reactions, and my social medias, including my Instagram and Twitter. Thank y'all for watching. Bye!